every single dream, vision, or idea in your life starts with a simple understanding. That it's obtainable. That you can make it real. That's the beginning of everything. Self-belief is the gatekeeper that stands between current and future. See, if you think of reality as, as these city walls you're living in, it's not crazy to think that there are going to be people that only know that existence within the walls, right? That's what they see, that's what most believe, it's how they live. It is only self-belief, a confidence in something greater outside those walls that opens the gate that expands your reality. And if you don't believe anything good exists on the other side, why begin? If you don't think you're capable of getting there, why start? And this formula is simple, right? Let's not overthink it. We only move towards outcomes that we believe to be possible. And that's more important than uh, ability, skill set, strength. I mean, you name it, believing in yourself trumps all that because the person with an inferior skill set maybe an average natural talent but they believe in something and they move towards it they give everything for this idea they know it to be true will always beat the talented person that's unsure that procrastinates that has one foot in and one foot out and if you don't believe in yourself you're building a city on sand because I'll tell you what great things they're great for a reason. They're in rare supply. They're limited, which means not everyone can have them, which means those who do have them have to fight for them, have to deal with being uncomfortable, have to give more, sacrifice more, pay a steeper price than the masses. And if you don't look in the mirror, stare yourself in the face and know you are one of those select few What's going to happen when life kicks back at you? You'll fold. You'll resort back to what you know. You'll flee the battle for safety, security, and comfort. But when you know your movie ends at the top of the mountain, when you know at the end of the day you're going to cross a finish line or hold a trophy, your brain internalizes conflict differently. Very differently. For someone with self-belief, obstacles don't make you wonder if you should keep going. Because you already know you have to keep going. I mean, come on, you haven't arrived yet. There's still a road to travel. No, in this situation, obstacles simply prompt you to ask how. How can I get through this? And that's the small discrepancy that changes everything. Because at some point you'll look to your right and you'll look to your left and you'll find very few people get to the how question. They all stopped at if. I wonder if I can do this. I wonder if I'm capable. Well, they'll never know. They'll never see that sunset beyond those metaphorical city walls because they never truly believed in themselves. They never opened that gate. Look, I went through 16 years of education without a teacher or professor telling me, Eddie, 99% of life is just believing in yourself to figure challenges out as they come, to figure life out as it comes. That's it. Only X percent make it through law school. Only Y percent succeed at this and that. That's what you hear. But no, none of that matters. It's simple, it's simple, it's simple. Most of the world quits when things get challenging. If you don't, if you have the courage to believe and trust in yourself, you'll succeed. Why? Because you won't stop until you find a way. That's the power of self-belief. It's not quantum physics, it's not complex. You know, at one point, I didn't think I could make a living outside of a cubicle or office building. Then I saw others do it. And for the first time in my life, I believed it was possible. I changed my actions to support my beliefs. And here we are. At one point, I didn't think certain financial goals were reality. I didn't know about a free, flexible lifestyle. I wasn't aware of the type of relationships that would change my life. 